Hello. Here are Mary Jane and Tommy Davis. Let's follow them into the classroom. Miss Allen is going to speak. She gives out special project assignments on sleep, good posture, and Mary Jane and Tommy are assigned mouth health. They wonder what in the world they can do with the subject on mouth health. The study of oral hygiene just doesn't seem to suggest anything for a project. They don't realize how interesting it really can be. Of course, their friend Dr. Wilson, the family dentist, will help them. Hmm, wonder if he's busy. Miss Young, the dental assistant, welcomes Mary Jane and Tommy. They tell her about their project assignment. The dentist, Dr. Dentist, Dr. Wilson, has just finished cleaning Carol's teeth, as he has done every four months since she was two years old. Since the dentist is busy, Miss Young takes the children into the waiting room to show them a book, which may suggest some ideas for their project. Each year, Carol has had an x-ray of her teeth, which would have shown a dark spot if she had had a small cavity. The x-ray is a detective, which indicates the positions of the permanent teeth, which are forming here below the first or deciduous teeth. This early detection helps to prevent larger and more expensive fillings later. In the meantime, Miss Young has been showing the children pictures of the first or deciduous teeth of a six-year-old child. The permanent teeth are forming at the ends of the roots of the deciduous teeth as we noticed in the x-ray. Miss Young suggests that since tomorrow is a holiday, she will take them to see the orthodontist, Dr. Martin, who has many dental models and charts. And besides, Dr. Martin may even let them ride his son's pony. Well, here they are at Dr. Martin's home office. Looks as if his son, Scotty, is getting a pony ride. Miss Young will go with Scotty so that Dr. Martin can take more time from his laboratory work to show the children the exhibits. Let's listen in. In this exhibit, Mary Jane and Tommy, notice how the shape of the face changes as the jaws and teeth develop. At birth, teeth are already forming in the jaws, yet the first tooth doesn't appear in the mouth until about six months of age. Between five and a half to seven and a half years of age, the first permanent or sixth year molars make their appearance back of all the first teeth. They are the most important since they influence the position of all the other teeth. At 14 years of age, the shape of the face has taken on adult proportions. All the permanent teeth are in the mouth with the exception of the third molars or wisdom teeth which come in sometime after the 17th year. Now let's go into the garden and discuss these models of children's teeth. They are good examples of orthodontics or the straightening of teeth. Now here's a picture of a boy who sucked his thumb when he was a baby. Notice how the upper teeth protrude and the chin recedes and see how his appearance has been improved by orthodontic treatment. This is a plaster of Paris model of a boy's teeth before and after correction. Now Tommy, you know that sleeping or resting the face on the hand may cause irregular jaws and teeth also. Now that Miss Young is back, the dentist invites his guest to the lunch that has been set out in the backyard.
This properly balanced meal consists of celery, which exercises the jaws and teeth, a lettuce and tomato salad, and milk, the most important of all foods, deviled eggs, whole grain bread and butter, and fruits complete the lunch. Since it is good practice to clean the teeth following each meal, Miss Young offers to demonstrate an accepted method of toothbrushing. Let's hear what she says. Follow a regular toothbrushing method and always begin at a definite place. Put the brush high up on the gums with the bristles pointing with the roots of the teeth. Use considerable pressure brushing toward the chewing surfaces. This enables the bristles to penetrate and clean between the teeth. Continue around the mouth and repeat on the inside. Make eight to 10 sweeps in the same location. And again on the lowers, brush toward the chewing surfaces inside and outside. Use a back and forth and be sure to scrub them well. With all that they have learned, it is now easy as well as entertaining for Mary Jane and Tommy to make their school project. Even the neighbor's twins are inspected. What? No teeth? With their prep book finished, they proudly take it to school to present it to Miss Allen. The title of the book was You Have a Smile. We know how much a dollar is and how much 